At first, you always imagine in your mind's eye that it's evil men who destroy a society, wild-eyed, spit-flecked dictators pounding the podium to demand the annihilation of their enemies. That's the Hollywood version of it. But in real life, people like that rarely get very far. They're too obvious. It's not the cartoon demons you've got to worry about. It's weak men in positions of power. They're the most dangerous. And you can see that in our current moment. The weakest are the most destructive. How much of his childhood do you think Adam Kinzinger spent hanging from the wedgie nail? How many swirlies did Eric Swalwell endure in high school? How old was Adam Schiff before a girl other than his sister kissed him voluntarily? These are sad, insecure, broken men filled with envy and bitterness from their lonely childhoods. They hate you because they hate themselves. It's not their masculinity that's toxic, it's their lack of it. Did you notice any reporting of actual facts there? Was this just a long opinion piece about how much he doesn't like folks and a, a mean girls type of uh, monologue? Uh, how soon were you kissed by someone who wasn't your sister? This is what old folks listen to and they're like, yo, this is great. Uh, Cronkite type of news, uh, Tucker Carlson there uh, doing what he does, uh, dividing and spilling all kinds of misinformation to his viewers based off of these partisan political lines. But did you notice that maybe all this talk about weak men want to, someone else that had a sad upbringing, sounds a little bit like the guy who's talking there right next to us. Uh, by the way, um, uh, in talking about bullying people and getting rid of folks and weak minded people, it kind of sounds like him. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of receipts. So those text messages that were happening at Fox News are what might reveal how weak and sad and jealous one Tucker Carlson just might be. Remember this, on November 13th of 20, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News White House correspondent tweeted out a confirmation that the election was not stolen when Trump kept tweeting about it. She said, there's no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. Uh, behind the scenes, when he wasn't talking to his viewers, uh, Tucker Carlson was outraged by it. He said, please get her fired. Does that sound like a weak, sad, jealous individual man to you? Seriously, what the F, he said. I'm actually shocked. Uh, it being the truth needs to stop immediately. Like tonight, it's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down, not a joke. Does it sound like he's being honest and straightforward with his audience? Or does it sound like he's a weak, jealous, sad man who can't get the truth out? Or in fact, is a direct opponent of that truth. There's a little bit more projection going on over at Fox News. Kelly Ann Conway sat down with another person that was in some of these backdoor conversations, Sean Hannity. And she said something else that was ironic too. It's like a theme over there, watch. They lie all the time and what bothers me is they get away with it and they just move on to the next set of lies. And they do, but it's starting to catch up with them. I mean, the media's job approval has never been so low, the distrust in them. But let's back it up. Their job is to get the story. But with Donald Trump, their mission was to get the president. I want you to ask yourself how many times you've been lied to not just by this government, but how many times you were lied to by the people whose job it is to tell you the truth in the media, all in the service of getting the president. Trump derangement syndrome is real, we lived it. There is no booster, there's no vaccine. It's just gonna go on and on. And it's a very serious thing, and it's not him, they'll go after someone else, they'll go after DeSantis, they'll go after- oh, they, go they go after you, Pompeo. they go after me, they go they after do, They make it very personal. They lie all the time. Ironic that Hannity was having that conversation with uh, uh, <laughs> with um, uh, Kellyanne Conway and uh, didn't talk about the conversation he had with Kaylee McEnany, as was also revealed from those backdoor communications when he said, Eric and Laura were great. Also, Jared, probably a recap of what was going on on his show. Key now, no more crazy people is what Sean Hannity was writing to her. Kaylee said, yes, 100%. He also said, no more stolen election talk. Why would Sean Hattie, who speaks the truth all the time and complains about how his political opponents always lie constantly, want to behind the scenes say no more stolen election talk? Maybe because he knew stolen election talk was a big ass lie. Anyway, Kaylee said, I love that too. That's the playbook you're doing and great by your country. Thank you so much. Dan, I know you're chomping to get in here, but there's one more, Laura Ingram. Also says some things about how up and uh, uh, how up and up their network is and how everyone else is lying. Watch. Who will end up doing more damage to the nation's faith in democracy? 
the man who destroyed our energy independence, wrecked our economy and bungled the withdrawal from Afghanistan? Or those rioters who stormed the Capitol building? Hint, the answer rhymes with Haydn. And that's the angle, right? They're obsessed with the January 6th narrative. We're defending democracy against the Trumpsters and they're gonna usurp the next election. And meanwhile, at every turn, Biden's doing stuff that's unconstitutional, illegal, or completely out of his depth. Illegal, they're lying all the time. But again, when the cameras are not rolling, this is what Laura Ingram was saying about some of her guests that represent that uh, former president that apparently you're supposed to trust over the current one. She said, Sidney Powell is lying, by the way. I caught her, it's insane. Which Tucker Carlson responded, I'm sorry, he said that, Tucker said that. And then Laura said, Sydney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Ditto with Rudy. Also, Tucker says it's unbelievably offensive. Our viewers are good people and they believe it, Dan. Can't believe they believe these lies. It's not like we've told them to trust us and then we peddle lies to them. It's not like we spend, I was talking about this on Power Report last night with Bam. Like, it's not like we spent an entire decade going, we report, you decide. <laughs> it's not like we, we spent an entire time framing ourselves as, hey, look, not just MSNBC, which, like, you know, Fair point is biased towards Democrats sure. and Democratic Party establishment, not just CNN, which you know is you know biased towards just being a <laughs> non-reliable news organization except for their original programming. But like you know, even pitting like ABC and CBS, like the most like milk toast news organizations, like pitting them as saying, oh, this is full establishment left media, and then there's us, the only ones giving you the truth, which happens to be this like Republican slop they're giving, right? Um, the, the, it, it's, th there's almost too much Tucker Carlson projection to go in there, including like the um, only person to size your sister to kiss you. Like, just, wow. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna let that sit, all right? Along with uh, uh, American internet sexual preferences lately. I'm just gonna like let that whole like stepsister thing like just sit that aside, <laughs> right? But um, there's just so much projection is happening over at Fox News when it comes to lying to their audience. Like I, and a lot of independent media, unfortunately, it used to be like 10 years ago, the thing that united most of independent media, save for like Alex Jones and a couple of like French people was that like, we hate mainstream sources so much because they obfuscate or purposely hide or you know, don't tell the truth. But now that you have this like, you know, media that tends to serve the audience more than they serve the truth. It's really hard to like tell these sources. But the fact that Fox News of all people who has been doing this, like you said, JR, just serving their audience lies year after year, decade after decade. Now that and now you get in a legal deposition, which by the way, I hope the jury goes. Dominion isn't suing for enough. I think mm. instead of rather like a fourth of Fox News is like entire value. Let's let, let's give them half. Let's give them like half a haircut. Let's uh no more uh, limousines to Long Island for Tucker Carlson. All right, <laughs> no more uh, private jets for Laura Ingram or whatever. Allegedly, supposedly, you know. But like, I would love to see that happen. But ultimately, Fox News has been getting away with this so long. They'll probably continue to get away with it in the future. The fact they're so brazen as this is happening to continue lying about it just kind of shows that there is no low that they won't go to as long as they think, as their boss, Rupert Murdoch, says, that there is some green beyond the red and the blue. Because that's the, more than they care about. Yeah. The best response uh, when you get caught up in these types of things to get exposed is to keep going harder and harder with that same direction. Just assume people will ignore it because they KFC double down. Confirm it. <laughs> that was a horrible product.